Okay, now who is from El Salvador? I am. Okay. I am from El Salvador. I am from El Salvador. She, no, yeah. from El yes, Darwin. She is in high uh, school. She is in high school and, and she, she is, is from El Salvador. She is from the students Salvador. qualify if they're brand new to the country or if they've been here in the United States for less than a year and a half. If they show that they have gaps in their education, basically they come from Asia or, or South America without any form of school. And then of course um, the goal is for them not only to develop the English language but also try to close those gaps academic wise. I can relate to it because I came here when I was 14 years old to the U.S. So at that time we didn't have this kind of program, so when I heard about this I thought it would be greatly beneficial because in a regular classroom they're shy and they're not comfortable to speak, but in this kind of setting the first thing we do is provide safe environment and make them comfortable, so this kind of speeds up their progress. El programa está bien porque ayuda a las personas que somos así como yo, inmigrantes, los ayuda mucho, les ayuda en el inglés. Eh, Les ayuda en el español también porque hay veces que venimos de nuestros países y no, no sabemos escribir, no sabemos dónde hay una coma, dónde hay un millón, nada. Entonces por eso es muy importante. They might be behind two to three years. So what we do, it's kind of, you know, have um, the English language arts reading curriculum. It's focused on developing that academic language, you know, the reading skills, building the phonics making sure that they build that strong foundation in English for them to, um, to you know, advance in their academics. It's different because you always have to think about the school because the English is very important. Because you go to a place and they say that they speak English, you respond, they speak Spanish, you say that you're a bilingual. That's why it's good. That's why I'm giving all the chances to learn English and that's why I'm going to go ahead. 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 The first thing that um, I did is gave them the uh, math assessment to see where exactly they are and then um, I grouped them according to their um, prior knowledge, their schooling, because they are coming from different um, academic background. And then when I plan my lessons, that's how I plan it. Basically you have different levels in the classroom so those teachers are um, differentiated for them. Mm -hmm. That's why we keep our class smaller, so basically the ratio is 15 to 1 so um, the teachers are able to spend as much time as possible in trying to meet the needs of each individual student. I have seen tremendous progress from coming in and not knowing what a classroom looks like and the expectations of a classroom. So we took like a week to go over that because some of them have not, like they have zero level of education and now they know their routines, they come in, they know what to do. So that, and even um, they're comfortable talking in uh, small short sentences. Uh, my name is Wilmer Zavala. My name is Jimmy Rivera, I was 16, 16 years old. So you can see that you walk into the classrooms and now they say good morning in English, you know, and you ask, um, you talk to them in English and they're able to understand what you're asking them and responding to you in, you know, in a more cohesive way. And you can definitely see that their academic gains have been increased as well. I feel like honored to be here and privileged to serve these kids. It's just a great joy to be part of this program. And I can't wait to see how um, much progress that I've made over the year by now.